Thank you, and uh, my name is Teddy Goitom. I live in Stockholm. Uh, my roots are from Ethiopia, Eritrea, in East Africa. And uh, I represent a film collective from Stockholm called Stocktown Films. And I'm here to talk about our latest project, a very exciting project called Afripedia. This morning we were actually showing one of our episodes from Ghana. And if you don't have, didn't see it, you can uh, later on see it also on afripedia.com. So I'm going to start out actually just showing you a short clip of some of the voices that we've met during our trip. We have the best and the worst of Africa. Mas agora as mulheres estão a dar muita carga, estão a controlar o mercado do futuro. Ser diferente é normal porque o normal é não ser diferente, tipo. They just they couldn't believe. So a lot of them actually just wanted to see who is this girl, who is this girl. And I told her, no, me, I don't sell poverty. You know, and everybody now wants to be a part of us. So let's see how that goes. I didn't know they make stuff like this in Africa. For me, dancing is about releasing from this world. My family never showed that much support. Well, we don't see the big picture now because we are so involved in it. It is basically an expression of who we are. I listen to the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and I switch on to the heavy, heavy metal. We never even advertise it anywhere. Even on Facebook, we never did. In Africa, there's so many things happening in Angola, in Congo, in Nigeria. New styles, new things coming out. Rather than just shooting and making my work abroad, I can actually be here and make my work here. It's my dream, Uli, of Christmas now to teach people. We are who we are. We're giving what we're giving. Would love for you to be part of it. I want to be independent. Like stand on my own and make my own decisions. It's about art and everybody should be involved. Thank you. So this is a part of a five-part documentary series that we launched uh, last year, and it was broadcasted on Swedish television, and soon we're going to also put it online. And uh, we've been to several countries, not all the countries that are in Africa, but we know that there's so many creatives out there that we haven't heard about. And we wanted to continue with this film project, but to do something else. We want to other people to share their stories. But we need to understand first why we do it, why are we doing it. So there's a problem that we encounter, and it's that there's a very stereotypical image of Africa. What we see on the, in the media is often about diseases, um, war, famine, and very rarely do we see an unbal unbalanced view. And also there's a problem when we're talking about misrepresentation, even low representation on Africans in the creative industry. And I'm not talking only about geographically in Africa, but even, even here and outside. So what we wanted to do is to understand how do we challenge the stereotypes and how do we highlight role models. And what we wanted to create is a visual database, a place where people can find interesting talents from different disciplines, a database where you can actually find the most interesting stuff in the contemporary culture. This is just a mock-up of how we visualize how it can look like. And what you see here is how we highlight the talented in the header, and further down is some examples of 
the creatives that you see. But it's also curated, because we really believe that we need to collaborate. We need to collaborate with institutions, artists, magazines, blogs, chefs, people who have a huge network and have also a visual eye of what's happening. And it's not only people who are living in Africa, but it's also the African diaspora who we need to involve. And together with all these curators, we believe that we can build a visual library for you to find out works and find talents as well. We ca I can't show all the steps that we have here, but I can share it later on. This is just some of the steps. But today, if we Google Africans now, these are images that we, we see. But with Afripedia, we want to add more images. We believe that there's not only one single story, there's several stories out there. We're not saying that this is a false story, but we're saying there's other stories as well. The Afripedians, who are they? We believe that there are people who are everywhere, actually. People who are interested in what's going on, both in Africa and outside, with the creative use who are already online. We want to affect many different sectors, the cultural, sect the cultural sector, like institutions, galleries, to find out who are the next artists. Media, of course, but even companies, companies who are, want to find a new artist out there. This is the place where we hope that they can find them. But what, what, what we want to do is to inspire. There's three things that we want to do. It's, yeah, over there. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the educational system as well. The universities. How do we search for content? How do we search for talents? And we can't do this alone. We need to, to work together on, on this project. So what we want to do is to inspire. To really inspire ourselves but also to inspire others. Uh, we want to make a difference. We might not change the world, but we really want to make a little bit of difference. And we also want to educate. So we hope also that this can also be an educational platform. And I would love to hear your take on this, and I'm going to be here, outside here, and, and yeah, this is our, my contact. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.